In other news, a crime alert on the south side where police say an Uber driver shot a pregnant woman forcing an emergency C-section. CBS 46's Tori Cooper live in College Park speaking with the child's father. Good afternoon, Karen. I just had a chance to check in with the uh, victim's father, and he says that they are recovering well, and she's finally able to speak, but it's going to be weeks before her and her baby boy can come home together. She was out of intensive care last night. Kenneth Anderson says he still can hear the sounds of his 36-year-old daughter getting shot by an Uber driver outside of his house. She's doing somewhat pretty good. She'll be in there for a few more weeks. Last Saturday around 10 p.m., he says his daughter ordered an Uber black car to his house, but a white one pulled up to pick her up. He says the two began arguing because they couldn't find one another quickly to start the ride. Tensions brewed throughout the ride, and eventually... That's when I heard gunshots. He says the driver shot her in the leg once and the stomach twice. They rushed her to the hospital, where she was forced to deliver her baby two months premature after emergency surgery. They are literally on his tail. Anderson says police are tracking the gunman as fast as they can, and Uber has removed him from the app. I'm not going to be happy until they catch him. Now, Anderson also told me that his daughter will be seeking therapy just because of how traumatic this event has been on her as well as their entire family. Meanwhile, Uber did say that they were standing ready to con continue to help law enforcement in any way they can. We'll continue to follow this and bring you new details throughout the day as we learn more on who this suspect is. Reporting live in College Park, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Hard to believe Tori said that baby born two months prematurely, four pounds. Thank you for that.